let's see, should I say good morning? It's not morning, it is afternoon. And it's Sunday, September 1st. I am on my way to see my favorite movie, Pulp Fiction at the theater. I've never seen Pulp Fiction at the theaters, so I'm on my way to go see it. And I am so excited. Did I bring my sweater? I was gonna make sure you bring your sweater when you go to the movies. An iconic scene of the movie is when Jules talks about when he went to Amsterdam and he ordered a Royale with cheese. I am not going to go to McDonald's and order a Royale with cheese. I am going to go to Burger King and get the Impossible Burger. I had one yesterday and it was really, really, really good. So I'm gonna go and get an Impossible Burger and sneak it in the movies with me along with my, what is it called? It's some iced tea with some alcohol or something like that. And I always buy a Zap Pack, which is $6.61. I always buy a Zap Pack. And of course it's starting to rain and I hate driving in the rain. The movie theater is 42 minutes away from my house. So I've got a 42 minute drive. It is 2.55 right now. I gotta stop by Burger King on the way. So I wanna make it there on time. I cannot be late for Pulp Fiction, even though I've seen the movie so many times. I'm also gonna see Kill Bill Volume 1. That's playing at, I think, 7.15. I did see Kill Bill Volume 1 at the theaters when it came out back in the 90s. However, the person that I went to see that movie with was late. So I actually missed the entire part of Vivica Fox and that's the best part of the movie other than when the bride kills like 5,472 people all by herself. It's, well, she didn't kill the one last person, the little boy, she gave him a whooping with the sword and sent him home to his mom or something like that. That part was really good and Vivica Fox was excellent in the movie and I missed it at the theater. However, I've seen the movie several times and I'm looking forward to seeing that in the theaters. I have no desire to see volume two. It just wasn't enough blood and guts in volume two. Okay, I am here. It is raining, but I still did it. I hate driving in the rain. Look what I got. I got my Impossible Burgers. I'm going to eat one of them in the movie. Can't have a Royale with cheese, so I'm going to have an Impossible Burger with no mayo instead. When I was at Burger King, it's so ironic. They asked me would I like cheese and or would I like bacon on my Impossible Burger. This is a vegetarian burger. I guess it's vegan. Well, no, the bun wouldn't be vegan. So this is, would just be vegetarian. Obviously, with having the cheese and the bacon, not only would I be eating pork, which is something that we know um, Julius does not eat in Pulp Fiction, you would put cheese on it too, which would make it vegetarian, not vegan. So, all right, I'm going to go in and people better not be sitting in the seats that I want to sit in. Don't sit near me. Don't talk to me. Don't say nothing to me. They better have some good popcorn at this theater. I am so excited and I'm going to put my alcohol in my pockets. I've got one hand in my pocket and the other one is giving a peace sign. Hopefully I don't get caught with this alcohol. All right. See you soon. Oops. <laughs> All right, so I just saw my favorite movie. Oops, sorry about that. Just saw my favorite movie, Pulp Fiction, in the theater for the first time, and it was the absolute best movie I have ever seen. The screen was huge, and I think I sat too close up to the film. So for Kill Bill, I'm gonna sit a little bit further back 
I want to show you guys what the movies looks like. I mean, it, I've never been to this theater before, but it's really, really beautiful inside. All right, so I am done. Just finished watching Kill Bill. It was excellent. I'm not staying to see Volume 2. Not enough blood and guts in Volume 2, but Volume 1 was excellent. I've seen it in the theaters years ago in the 90s. I saw it in the theaters, but I've never seen the beginning in the theater, so it was really great seeing that. Sorry, Re, that I didn't get to take you to the airport. I hope you and my son-in-law, Greg, and my granddaughter, Chandler, are having a great time in California, because I know I had a great time in North Olmsted, Ohio, at the movies. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Like this video if you are a fan of Quentin Tarantino movies. Thanks.